Hi friends, welcome back to my channel on statistics. If you are seeing my videos first time, then do subscribe. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about cricket analysis. Okay, cricket analysis in our software. Okay, we all know that cricket is a game. It, it has a lot of statistical data. Okay, if you observe that, if you observe in test matches, either in ODIs. Either in T20s, everywhere statistics, let's say vital role. For example, we can take tests, okay? Test series, okay? In test series, maximum 70, 70 to 50% are matches are draw, going to draw, okay? So it is not best way to analyze the data, okay? But we can analyze something from test. We cannot tell from the from the test matches this this much strategy this much team like that okay but in you when you can observe od okay when you observe the od matches means here 50 over matches for each side okay 50 over match for each side here we get we can get the exact cricket team or exact cricket player okay in t20 also we cannot say exactly this player is this much form like that okay in 220 also see for example it is only 20 hours game any can bowler also come any all-rounder also come and hit sixes more only 20 hours of game so we cannot tell this but in OD is the perfect for cricket analysis okay but in this tutorial I am going to explain some analysis related to the IPL IPL matches so first we are going to the analyze of statistical data in our first we will see the logistic regression introduction to logistic regression then i will show you what is the structure of my data set then we can see analysis then what are the some initial variables analysis on r with some screenshots also see see the main motive of my analysis is probability of one a match probability of one match okay which which variable influences more probability for winning the match okay now we will see first we can see logistic regression before going to the logistic we, we, need, we need aware about regression analysis okay regression analysis we all know that regression analysis for testing the relationship between two variables one is one is independent variable one is dependent variable we can say okay y equal to ax plus b this is simple linear regression y equal to ax plus b in regression analysis more than one independent variables but only one dependent variable that is why y is the only dependent variable remaining all are independent variables okay slope intercept all forms are there okay now we will see logistic regression log in statistics the logistic regression is used to model the probability of a certain class or event existing means logistic regression is different compared to the linear regression okay such as a win loss for example win loss was failed alive died or healthy or sick right? sick okay that time for example you can, you can observe this type of examples this is qualitative data okay we can convert this data into binary forms ones zeros then we can analyze we can see in examples also this can be extended to model several classes of events such as such data determining whether an image contains a cat dog lion each object being detected in the image would be assigned a probability of between 0 and 1 okay every data we convert into zeros and ones Log logistic regression is a supervised learning classification algorithm used to predict the probability of a target variables okay the nature of target or dependent variables is dichotomous which means there would be only two possible classes that these are 0 1 simply we can say what is linear regression logistic regression means this in simple words the dependent variable is binary in nature having the data coded either one one stands for success zero stands for failure okay this is a brief introduction about logistic regression see this is, this is a graphical representation this is linear regression this is logistic regression okay see now what are the types of logistic logistic regression in logistic regression mainly we have binary then we have multinomial then we have ordinal in binary we already discussed only zeros and ones for, for example these variables may represent success or failure yes or no win or loss all this okay in multinomial in a such a kind of classification dependent variables can have three or more possible 
unordered type or the type having a no quantitative significance for example these are the variables type a type b type c means these are other different these can be used in medical also okay then we can go to the ordinal example in a such a kind of classification dependent variable can be have more three or more possible other types of the type having a quantitative significance for example this poor good very good excellent like this okay when we perform any exam then we can give the scoring card that time we can say that marks are poor some marks are good marks are very good marks are excellent and each curve we can score like 0 1 2 3 4 this is the types of logarithmic this is the logarithmic theory in mathematical forms these are the mathematical forms of logarithmic regression theory okay both linear regression and logarithmic regressions are the type of generalized linear models glms okay mathematically this is the expression for general generalized linear models is here y is dependent variable and x is independent variable here x follows y given x x equal to follows normal distribution with beta 1 plus beta 1 these all are the our independent variables okay comma sigma 2 here also here error term for most normal distribution with 0 comma sigma square this is log it okay this is the log stick regression is defined as a log px by 1 minus pfx here this is this will predict our probabilities okay however you can't the calculation of the response not direct okay these all are the mathematical forms of log stick regression these are the some assumptions from log stick regression so, log stick regression methods assume that the outcome is a binary or dichotomous variable like s or no positive assumption negative one or zero okay there is a linear relationship between the log git of the outcome and each predictor value recall that the log git function is a log git p equal to log p divided by 1 minus v already this, this is our prediction function okay there is no there is no influential value in the continuous predictor okay these are other some assumptions okay now we can see how we can prepare our data for log stick regression first we need binary output variables then our remove our noise then we have gaussian distribution then we have remove correlated inputs fail to converge if it is fail to converge then we, our model is not be exit see here coming to the, our example this is my structure of data set okay first i have ipl data from 2016 to 19 here here is 2016 and ct then i have match number then i have team this is one is independent sorry dip, one is dependent these all are independent variables these all are dependent variables stars won bat first home match power play runs power play wickets four counts six counts wicket loss total runs okay here i am first see in first match i have mumbai indians versus rising pune stars rps okay here who won the match means rps won the match so zero for mumbai indians then toss one who toss one means mumbai won the toss okay who bat first Mumbai Indians are bad first, then who has home match? One, Mumbai, so Mumbai has a home match. Then four player runs are 37, four player wickets are four, then four, four, four scouts are 12, six are three, wickets are eight, total wickets, total is 121 runs. Okay, this is the Mumbai Indians. Then we can come to the Pune. Here the last toss, this last bad first, the last home series, home match also, but they have good power play score. Okay. Then you have four counts or less count. They okay? got only one wicket loss, and they can reach score. So they won the match. Okay. Now, like that, I collect total data from 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Now we can perform analysis. Okay. Before going to what is the my analysis means? My motive of this analysis is probability of one match by different different variables and which variables are plays a vital role in the meaning of a match. From the above sample data, I am assuming that one is a dependent variable and remaining all are independent variable. My analysis, my first analysis is first I can import my data set, okay. Then I can check the attach my data set, then I can check the dimensions of the data set, then I build linear regression model by GLM function, then I use mixed effects from linear regression model, then I can find AIC and BAC here, BAC and and log likelihood just by using GLM and GLM here, okay. Then I can use scatter plots also. Then I find the finally I can conclude some inference plots from related to the different different variables. Now, first, 
now first we can see what are the my initial variables my initial variables are winning the toss this is our first variable winning the toss means the coin toss it is contested between the home and away captains the team is prior to the first ball being bowled the captains will go out onto the pitch and before contesting the toss they will assess the condition to help them to make their choice of batting or bowling first see this is our first hypothesis winning the toss will significantly increase the chance of winning a man winning a match okay this is our first hypothesis means there is some relationship between winning of the toss then match one like just this is the, some my first assumption my second hypothesis is batting or first first batting or first bowling there will be a no significant increase in the chance of winning in a match by always batting or bowling first okay like that i will prepare hypothesis for all for my all initial variables okay then then i have introduction to our so means now i are going to the analysis part first what i did i have already csv file of ipl data sets now what i did first i read my data from csv file then i attach my file then i will check the dimension when i check the head head of ipl it will be show the only six rows what what is the main content of the data set it will show from head content okay. then i will linear regression model see here these are the this is command for model i am introducing model one name okay model one name glm one this is our dependent variable remaining these all are dependent variables it's our independent variables up to total runs and plus team sales added my data is from ipl so here it is ipl then families i am using binomial family because success failure is there okay then i used model one and some when i use summary of model one i got this output output see i call this function glm then i have deviance residuals then i have then i have coefficient this when you i will tell you okay coefficient then here significance of significance are alpha is 0 0 0.01 that will be based on our results okay then dispersion parameters for binomial family taken to be one null, de null deviance then degrees of freedom also there residual deviance also there aac means aac is different it will be tell the like how our model is predicted how our model fitted like that okay here number of fishes scoring iterations are four okay now when we are coming to the this coefficient this probability values it will tell the relationship see now we can see first we have task one okay task one have 0 0.522562 means i positive correlation positive correlation is a 0 point this is positive correlation sorry not positive correlation it is near to the probability is when the probability value is near to the one then we can say that that experiment is success but here 0 0.522562 means it is also plays some vital role in cricket okay task one is plays a vital role in a winning the match okay it plays some vital role next we have bat first when you bat first there is no any some special significance it has only 0 0.085 only okay when we when you have home match there is no any significance of that when you play a match in home city then you compulsory one like that it has a very least probability value 0 0.0027 it is come it is going to reject this hypothesis will be rejected because it will be less than alpha okay then we have power play runs when you have good power play runs then it is it is also some not best best fit but it has some best fit 0 0.19 is there okay then we have power play wickets okay when you can pick the power play more wickets then e easy to win okay when you wickets are falling most in power play then opponent's team is difficult to win the match okay then force counts four four counts the sixes counts these all are the right these are also some vital roles okay then wicket slot wicket slot also plays a less role then total runs plays a half of the role okay then this is a team's news okay i i collect data from three years when you when you see from ipl data see team dc have this much pro success 0 0.2727 and team gujarat lions also 26 team kkr also 171 Team Kingsland Punjab also 0 0.04 Team 
when you see mumbai indians yeah, here you have 0.71271 is so means mumbai is are playing some consistency but that's why they are winning every time ipl okay ipl they are continuously two times winners before also five they won the ipl matches okay then rcbc rcb 0.08 is there then rising pune stars have oh, we, we come up to final in 2017 you know, i think 17 or 18 so they have some good probability 0.38 when you can see rr rr are also always in not qualifying playoffs also even rr then you when you see srh srh every time qualifying playoffs that's why they have some good probability okay this is the probability level this these all are the my qp players and our normal players here four counts here we have match numbers we have power parents when that points are close to the discord then we are accepting that otherwise we are rejecting that okay see here total runs are always near okay these are the six counts this is the mixed effects of logistic regression this is also one important method by using this we will got correlation fixed correlation coefficients okay here i will show you output this is the correlation fixed effects see here what is the car what is the relationship between the that variables like our teams okay for example i will take srh team then what is the relationship between srh and task one srh and home matches is this srh and power play is this srh and power play wickets srh and power play wickets and force counts and six counts then wickets loss then total runs when you come to the teams srh versus dc i have 0.63 correlation okay when you come to the gujarat lines they have 0.561 when come to the kkr 0.628 when come to the kings lawn punjab they have 0.637 mumbai indians rcb rps then rajasthan riders they have some good correlation okay like that you can observe all teams also see you can observe mumbai indians also Mumbai Indians have minus negative two percentage. Then we have they have minus zero point two five. Then they have bad fest. Then the home matches correlation. When the power play wickets. Then you come to the teams here. Team DC versus Mumbai Indians. They they have this much correlation versus Gujarat Lions versus KKR versus Kings Eleven Punjab. Okay, like that we can analyze our data. Okay, now. we can inference following ways for my data set okay in my data set probability of winning a home match or non home matches i can predict i can predict its score also then probability of winning match mean minus standard deviation with power play runs mean plus standard deviation power play runs okay these are how these are not different different ways but i will just uh, in this tutorial i will introduce this home match see, see this probability of winning for a home match this is our my f data i am using data data dot frame comment okay then this are these are the my comments the, i am using sunrisers okay here is 2060 i want to product predict the probability value what is the winning winning for home matches okay finally i got 0.6572687 for the prediction value of prediction value of from home matches srh okay like that you can when you load the data in our studio then you can use here different different years also or different different teams also that will be your wish okay for every team it will become different different probabilities also okay i inference then we have correlation thank you for watching if you have any queries then you can ask me thank you